Do you know the whole story with them and psychedelics? With caribou? Yeah. No, but I'm interested. <clears throat> okay. Caribou are, are connected to a mushroom called the Amanita muscaria mushroom. They're addicted to this mushroom. They, mm -hmm. they eat it constantly. They've, they've actually been known when people do psychedelic ceremonies and they go outside of their yurts to pee, mm -hmm. caribou will knock them over to try to get to their urine because their urine is rich with the smell of this, this mushroom. This mushroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they eat it constantly. Hence, It's a psychedelic mushroom? The flying reindeer. It gets crazier, ah, ready? The connection between Santa Claus right. and reindeers is very strange. The connection between Santa Claus and this mushroom is also very strange. The mushroom looks like Santa Claus. It's red and white. It also shows up under pine trees. It has a mycorrhizal relationship with coniferous trees. So when it rains, the, the mushrooms will pop up under these trees. So these bright packages that look like... Packages what they look under like. the tree. Exactly. That is what they look like under trees. Wait. Boom. Yeah, yeah, not only that, it gets crazier. Mind. gets crazier. To dry them off, the shamans would pick them mm -hmm. and then put them in the pine. Put that photo up again for Adam. Thanks, man. Put them in the pine needles to dry them off. So just like like balls right, hanging in from the a tree. Christmas tree right, right. and That's ornaments true. in a Christmas tree. We're, well, we still put pine needles in the pine cones in the yes, tree. Yeah. exactly. And, and balls, those bright colored balls. They think the origin of that was those things. Also, wow. Santa Claus came down the Christmas tree and when, or the, excuse me, the, the chimney. chimney, when they were discouraging these uh, um, shamanic rituals, uh, people had to sneak into people's houses to perform them. And one of the ways they did that was to climb down through the chimney. So the no shaman shit. would drop down through the chimney with a bag of mushrooms. And then they would all have these ceremonies, and when <laughs> these ceremonies were that. forbidden, that's how they that's wow. how they got around it. Yeah, it's a the the relationship between Santa Claus and Christmas, and this mushroom is very strange. And hmm. there's uh, tons of articles. Also, almost all of the old Christmas cards had the Amanita muscaria mushroom on it, and elves. Also, the elves, the connection between elves and these mushrooms. I gotta ask about that. He's he collects. He's an archivist. He collects uh, old Christmas cards. Oh, I'll does he? Yeah, I'll bet you he has some of those. Find bet uh, you he does. old Christmas cards with mushrooms. Just thousands of them. I've never done mushrooms. What? I've you done do DMT. Right no, no, no. Thank okay. you. I'll smoke weed with you. But and, okay. And I did DMT and enjoyed it very, very much. That's a that's a wild one, huh? I did it twice. See, look at these uh, old. Old Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Find some uh, some ones that show, like, Merry... Look at that one right there in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. See that one? Merry Christmas. Trip your balls off, kids. <laughs> hey, look. They all have mushrooms. Oh, See, my God. In the early 1900s, when they were making these, and the, even in the 1800s, people were just more connected to the origins of these stories. Sure, sure. And over time, we've kind of lost that connection. Oh, well, we commercialized it into all kinds of but other But it's shit. always the Amanita muscaria. If you look at these- Yeah, the mushroom, of course. It's always that one mushroom that looks like Santa Claus. 